Yeah, lots of folks visiting their favorite apple orchards now that it's officially fall. Josh Breider visiting one north of Madison, learning how to make a tasty fall favorite, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, fall's my favorite season after summer, of course. And fall means apple picking, baking, and of course, eating. Along with drinking fresh apple cider, one of my favorite fall treats are apple cider donuts. And I had the chance to learn about the process of making them at Northwoods Orchard in Mostyn making apple cider donuts now. We're learning a little bit more of the secret behind it. Seth Tully's with us, and that was quite the process right in itself, but look at that, we're already frying them up. We are, they're some of the best donuts around. We get a lot of comments about them. So what all goes into the ingredients? So first it starts with our, our cider that we make on the farm here, and then it's uh, cider, a few different spices ingredients, and then our donut mix. So it's pretty simple, but it's unique to us, because everybody does it just a little bit different. We make them every Thursday and then uh, Saturdays and Sundays every week. It always is a fun time of year to be able to get the apple cider donuts because they only come that one time of year. That's right. And um, people love them. It's nice to, first thing when you step out of the car, to smell an apple cider donut, then you know you're going to get a fresh one. So That was the first thing we smelled when we got out of the news van this Absolutely. morning, too. Yep. I'll take these out and then I'll let you make some. All right. So if you just want to hang on to here. So hang on there. And just crank it a few times and keep moving it. There you go. Oh, wow. It keep does going. all the work, basically. One more. And stop. Good. It's a simple process, and but they sure taste good when they're all done. Oh, they're so, so good. Nothing beats a, a warm, fresh cider donut, so. So is this one of your most popular items you have here? In the fall time, it is. Between that and the apples, obviously, but um, got to have apples to do everything, but we usually make our cider um, and freeze some at the end of the year for the next year to start before some of our apple varieties are ready. You know, so many local orchards around, how do you guys, you know, stay unique to the area? Part of our Apple Growers Association, um, um, we talk about a lot of things, we share a lot of information, we all have different things at our farms, so we try to get people to travel around Wisconsin and, and taste and understand why it tastes better being flavored by Wisconsin as our big program this year, uh, because apples in Wisconsin will taste different and better when you can get them right from the farm or the orchard, um, and compared to other states that grow apples. So. Yeah. All right, these are done and we'll have you sugar some up for us. All right. So this looks like a pretty simple process. Yeah. Just toss just them in. Put a couple in there. You and then flip them around a little bit. Or throw you just... some sugar and cinnamon on top of them. Roll them around a little bit. Oh, got to get all that sugar on there. There you right? go. And you probably got to try one too. So one. Well, I can't not have a good apple cider <laughs> donut, right? Especially a warm one. All right. Ooh, that's nice and warm. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's fresh. I also have the sugar all over the lips this morning, too. So people are looking to check you out. What do they need to know? We're open seven days a week now in the fall. So uh, Sunday is at 10.30 to 4.30, but otherwise it's 8.30 to 5.30. We have farm park activities, all of our Apple stuff, tons of goodies in the store. Try to have as many local products as possible. Facebook is the best way to find us at Northwoods Orchard and Farm Market. We do have a website, too, that we try to keep updated as much as possible. So. We're right on a state highway just out of Boston. We're an hour from Madison, an hour from La Crosse. Perfect to come out and enjoy Wisconsin in the fall. You bet. Worth the trip. Thank you so much for the donuts. Welcome. Very, very Thanks good. Thanks for helping. You bet. So they make those donuts fresh on Thursdays, also Saturdays and Sundays, so perfect for the weekend. For more information, you can go to the story at channel3000.com. Guys, you had the chance to try them out a little earlier. They're all gone. What were your thoughts? Yeah, a nice, subtle apple flavor wasn't too overpowering just enough not too sweet <laughs> and oh it was what a uh, connoisseur of donuts over here i just inhaled mine and thought these are good <laughs> lee doesn't remember <laughs> it happened so quick it was like i gave you two donuts and they were gone like you guys know me <laughs> yeah, they, were a hit. they were a big hit in the newsroom they're all gone right Josh? they're all gone yeah so i guess we'll have to make another trip out there to the orchard i just think it's so cool guys you know obviously we have a lot of local orchards but they're encouraging folks to go 
just visit your local orchard. It doesn't need to be, even be them. Just in a time like this, especially with how the orchards have been impacted by the weather this year, a yeah. lot of them are struggling. So if you can support your local orchard in any way, that doesn't mean you have to get the apple cider donuts. They have so much more to offer as well. You don't get the apple cider. <laughs> you get the you apple not? cider You donuts. have to get their yes. apple cider slushy as Ooh, well. Yes. They gave me that. That's like one of their specialties there. It was so good. Oh, I want to go back. All right. We know what to get next time we go. Josh, thank you. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Just reach out to him on social media or email him in the 608 at WICTV.com for a chance to be featured.